The grueling race finally drew to a close in Cordoba on Sunday after teams completed all 14 stages of arguably the toughest route in the race's 40-year history. South Africa's Dakar legend Janiel de Villiers says it is a great feeling finishing the event after two weeks of navigating and driving through the treacherous terrain of South America. Great result for Toyota, two and three. Um, you know, not the, we, we, we were looking for the win, but um, you know, congrats to Carlos, he did a great job. He's the only driver out there that, you know, that hardly made a mistake, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, that, that's what counted. Nasa al Atia, the former two-time champion, claimed second place overall after four stage wins and recording the fastest time on the final stage. The 47-year-old was delighted to have successfully completed the daunting route. I'm quite happy, you know, that Toyota work, uh, working for this Dakar really uh, very, very good, you know, and uh, the team uh, doing good job, you know. I'm, I'm quite happy to, to finish this race because it was a very, very uh, tough race. De Villiers successfully clawed his way back into title contention after a costly error in the dunes on stage four and believes that had it not happened that he might have been on the top step in Cordoba. If we uh, weren't stuck for one hour, 45 minutes, I mean, it could have been different. But, you know, this is the race, you know. We saw yesterday even uh, Peter Ansel, you know, which is called Mr. Dakar, made a mistake, you know, and he lost a lot of time. And that's how we got into the podium, but uh, very happy with the result. The margin for error is incredibly small on the Dakar route, and even the slightest misjudgment can lead to a torrid time eating your competitors' dust. But for De Villiers and Al Atia, veterans of 30 Dakar rallies between them, their experience helped them prevail over all the obstacles throughout the energy-sapping 9,000 kilometers and finish with a spot on the podium of the world's toughest endurance race. CS2 Plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.